All right, hey, welcome back to the channel. So now we're gonna do the calibration on the Pumatic software. Same setup as with Mach 3. So I've got the software running here. Let's see if we can get this glare out. So I got the software running here. And from here, after you get the, everything set up, we're gonna go to configuration and we have our calibration widget right here. And this is going to ask us how far we want to move it. So I've already done all this, and I'm going to show you here, because we'll probably be a foul off here or there. So we're going to go three quarters of an inch, and I'm going to slow this way down. The cool thing about this software is I can do this calibration. I can enter in this. This will not be grayed out whenever it asks me what the value is. Well, what's cool is you don't have to close this window to run this back. So I can actually come over here and let's zero this. And so now we're good to go again. So let's turn our light back on and come down here. Turn our indicator on. And I've got it set to do three quarters of an inch. So we'll hit run. There we go, 750. I commanded 750. So up here on the screen, let's come up here. It's gonna ask me how far did it move. There's our glare again. And so in this window, we're gonna type 0 0.750, hit enter. And then it's gonna give you this number here. And it's gonna give you the option to apply the settings. Mach 3 doesn't give you that. It automatically just changes it for you. So I'm happy with that. So instead of closing this, I can just come over here and I can move this back without having to change screens in case I want to run this several times. And I'm not doing the home, I'm just jogging it over. There we go. Close enough, right there. And I'll just zero it, and then we can start the test over if we want to. You saw that I had three there. I got three here, so we're pretty much home where we want it to be. Now I'm just going to turn this off because I want to show you something. Now we get to looking at our motor tuning, and you guys saw the video where this thing was the fastest 6040 on the internet. So let me close this screen out right here. And we're just going to jog this back and forth. So I'm going to hold the shift down and jog over. Okay. Now, the settings that I came up with, if I come over here, you have to turn the controller off before you can get in here. Oops. And go to our settings and our axes. So let's look at the X. And originally I had this acceleration. Turn our light off here. I had this acceleration at 25, but I didn't like how slow it ramped up. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we hit 25, and then we're gonna apply that. <laughs> Hit OK. Now let's turn the controller back on. And our light. So what I don't like about the 25 is if I hold shift, it goes. It goes whoo. So when I let off the button, it still rolls a little bit. Now I'm sure that when it's actually telling it to wrap it, it's probably gonna stop on point. But I don't know if I can see, you can see my finger here, and it goes. So it still runs for just a little bit more when I let off the key. So what I wanna do here is go back and change that. And when this number's increased, we're actually 
increasing our g-force so you have to be real careful what we do here so that it doesn't bang to a stop but if I change this let's say to 40 I haven't tried 40 yet and hit apply and okay and turn the controller on I'm scared I'm gonna crash this into into here so now watch my finger I like how fast it responds and I don't hear a uh, sometimes you hear like a thud like a pop when the motor stops and that tells you your acceleration is a little bit too high so I kind of like the 40 it still takes off but it stops pretty quick same way with the spindle so it kind of rolls back a little bit as you lay off the button so let's fix that so we're going to come up here sorry about the glare so we'll go to settings so let's go to a z and let's change this to let's say 45 okay now let's come back and we'll try and see what we have here. I like how fast that responds. So I think 45 is the magic number here and 40 on the X and Y. So now that's how I got my acceleration. So just like in Mach 3, I'm gonna take the uh, settings from the X and I'm gonna apply them to my Y. Yes, on a 60-40, Typically, uh, this is X and this is Y, but since I turn the machine sideways, I'm kind of acting like I have a bridge for it. So now this is my Y and this is my X. So I'm gonna transfer the settings over to the Y. I'll move the indicator over here and I'll do all the calibration for all the axes. Next, I'm gonna shut the camera off and get this set up and we'll do the rotary axis calibration hopefully. And that should be it for Pumonic's calibration. I'll be right back. All right, on to the rotary axis. So this will be my A. And so we're gonna come up here to the software. Same as before. We're gonna make sure that our settings are correct and I've been here and I've actually verified my initial settings here okay those are kind of Mach 3 imports okay we'll hit apply all right we're going to go down here, configuration, calibration wizard. So there's A, there's our rate. We can actually crank this up to maybe 25. And we're going to do 45 degrees. You know what? I've already did 45. You can see that I've calibrated it already. Let's do 180. Okay. So let me come down here. You can see that I've got this set up and we're going to run this one. Take this off of here and run. Should have sped that up a little bit. And we lay this up here. Let's 
so it's uh, 1.1 degrees so it did like 181 degrees let's type 181 into the window here and there's our new settings 12.50 let's apply those and when we did Mach 3 on the last video we ended up at 12.5 on Mach 3 so the 12.505 seems to be right in line so I'm going to go ahead and call this one calibrated and that's it for the calibration process so what I settled on with the uh, X and Y, 300 inches a minute, it would do 580. So I settled on 300, plenty fast for me. And rotational, I don't know where we ended up with that. It was, <clears throat> had to get the light off here. So motors, oh, excuse me. So 25,000 degrees per minute. It's not very, very fast and and we can actually crank that up. We can, we can take this guy to, let's say 45,000. Okay, it'll fly. Okay. All right, let's go down here. So it went from 29 to 45. So that's a pretty good, so we're gonna leave it there. So we ended up 45,000 degrees per minute, 300 inches a minute on X and Y. Z, I went 400 inches a minute with the acceleration of 40 45 on the z and i think 35 or 40 on the x and y so that was my setup for the pneumatics on the 60 40 machine with the 600 ounce motors 48 volt power supply gecko 540 from vince at e dealers direct and i'm very happy with it so anyway that's it for the video if you like what you see then please share this to social media pages and uh, share it to friends who have this machine. And I uh, appreciate it if you subscribe. And thanks for watching.